That performance of Carmen in London happened before the pandemic, and of course, opera has been largely silenced like most of the performing arts. But the English National Opera is using its downtime to fight COVID-19. Liz Palmer met a vocal coach helping breathe new hope into patients with long-term side effects from the virus. For Sheba, not so long ago, a simple stroll in the sun was unimaginable. I couldn't even uh, go from my bed to the kitchen without having to sit down and catch my breath. Sheba beat COVID this winter, but never got her breath back. I felt that I needed more air in my lungs. I felt as if I was drowning at times. COVID patients, even those who don't end up on ventilators, can be left with so-called long COVID, chronically short of breath. <coughs> Enter the English National Opera with a prescription. So some really simple things that we do are around physicalizing airflow. So if you think, if you breathe in and breathe out. Operatic singing coach Susie Zumpa is helping long COVID patients breathe again. And it starts with posture. Because it's really difficult to breathe well if you're physically collapsed and people who've been ill are often a bit crunched. And just place it on your neck very gently. Susie uncrunches them in an online Zoom course that uses musical exercises to teach relaxation and breath control. Sheba was one of the very first to sign up. But I'm so glad I did because it, it, it's pulled me out of darkness. It was literally a breath of fresh air for me. You can think of it as physiotherapy for the lungs. Your turn. <laughs> Amazing. I'm loving the eyebrow action that goes with it. It's really good. <laughs> the English National Opera on stage pre-pandemic. The exercises that gave the singers their power were adapted by doctors for long COVID patients. It's an unlikely fit, opera and COVID. It's an odd predicament, actually, that at a time where we're unable to sing, the very craft of singing is something that has been useful and beneficial and had, and had value to people at this time. Online, the class learns lullabies. Susie may be the only one unmuted, but everybody benefits. And I have to ask, how are you now? Are you better? I'm much better, and I don't think it would have been possible if I didn't have this fantastic tool to guide me through this dark time. For CBS This Morning, I'm Elizabeth Palmer in London. Liz Palmer is now an opera singer. I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't have put the two together, but I could see. It makes that's sense very... when you see it, right? It does make that's sense. That's a lot of how it worked for rehabilitation. Of course, if I were singing opera, people would need a different kind of rehabilitation <laughs> yeah, for their ears. That's yeah. Me too. <laughs>